I don't want to say I'm scared. I'm just a little bit nervous about this project. <laughs> um, at the same time, I'm really, really excited because it's really, really cool. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an introduction to the deck of panning project pan that is created by Emily and she got her idea from a booktuber called Maddie. Emily adapted this concept into the world of project panning and she uploaded her intro um, this week when I'm filming this. I'm filming this a little bit in advance. So she just uploaded her intro and everything and it is a little bit complicated so if you don't understand what I am saying you should definitely check out Emily's video it is going to be linked down below she is going in depth with the rules and the concept of the project and how it is going to be basically this project is based around a deck of cards I have my world of Harry Potter deck of cards I'm really excited about it they are so cool it has all the characters and a joker we came up and she came up with a bunch of prompts uh, that we can link products to and all of those prompts are going to be shoveled in this game board. Emily is going to shovel it once a month. So you have your deck of cards and you're going to shuffle that and then randomly pull five cards and those five cards you are going to link to a prompt on the game board. There are five categories that are going to be maintained and not get shuffled every month. The Ace, the Jack, the Queen, the King, and the Joker. Um, and then all the other cards are going to be in this game board that and shuffled and everything like that. I hope that, that I hope that makes sense. She explained it so much better than I am right now. So I'm going to insert the clip where I chose my five cards and the reaction to it, and then. After you have seen the clip, you I will go through the products that I chose for each card. What are the chances? I don't I don't remember what uh, order I pulled the cards so I'm just going to talk about my products. One card I know for sure that I pulled first was the Joker. And for the Joker I chose this highlighter, cream highlighter. I really don't want to pan it because I don't really like it. I don't hate it but I don't like it but I do think it is going to be very very difficult to pan just because of the product itself. This is the W7 Glow Fix Holographic yeah, holographic Strobe Stick. I do have some other strobe sticks from W7 or one left which I really really love but this one <laughs> is holographic and it is... I remember it going on your cheeks kind of patchy so it is this one and it has this blueish tint and I'm not much for a blue tint but as you can see it's kind of sheer and then when the light hits yeah. I don't remember this layering very well and I really don't remember it turning out that great but we'll see we'll see how I do yeah I don't want to pan it I just want to use it but obviously this category is something that you really don't want to pan but this is everything that I have and this uh, highlighter I would love for to get this out of my collection and not throw it out because it is a good product it's not going bad it's 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 okay the next one is the king and that is the oldest product and I chose my BS Cosmetics Shan XO 9 color lipstick and eye palette so it is the double sided one it is the first one, so there are no names on the eyeshadows and 
in the lipsticks. I had this in a Willow Pan collab, I think. The lipsticks at least, at least. And I had this in Partners and Cream. And as you can see, I had pan on all the shades and I finished one in the Partners and Cream uh, last year. After I ended the uh, Partners in Cream project, I started using these as blushes, so cream blushes, and I love it for that. So I thought that was going to be a good way, because then I can layer. I have a cream highlighter and a cream blush. And the one that I'm going to focus on is this one, and that is obviously going to be the easiest one. It is the most nude one, but I thought I want to be good to myself and just pick the easiest one. They're pigmented but they blend out nicely and I can be quite heavy handed with these uh, if I put them underneath their foundation. On top of a foundation I'm just, I, I only dip in uh, once or twice with my brush so I don't like swirl it around or anything like that. I have mostly used these four as cream blushes. I have not dipped in, well I have dipped into this red one once I think. Uh, but that was very red. <laughs> Obviously I have hit pan on it, so maybe I'm trying to finish it. I don't know, or maybe finish half or something. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. And for the highlighter, I haven't decided yet if I want to make a usage goal or like finish half or something. I don't know. I, I do this to myself all the time. I have hard products, but the easy products in my collection, they are not very fun to pan at the moment. The Seventh of Diamond, I think. They are called something else in um, in Danish, so that is really weird. Seventh of Diamond on the board is the most expensive product, and this is definitely the most expensive product I have in my collection. Now, unfortunately, it's just a lipstick. Oh, just a lipstick. It is a lipstick. Luckily for me, it is a kind of nudie pinky color, so it's really easy to wear and pan. Um, and I have like half of it left. But yes, this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Pink Berry Lasting Cream Lipstick in 82. So it's a really, really nice lipstick. And yeah, it is the most expensive product. So I do think I'm going to finish that as well. I don't know. I don't know. The Eight of Spade and the Seven of Heart comes from my, uh, or comes from this palette. Oh, well, it, it doesn't really, I, I will explain. The Eight of Spade is a favorite panner. I read it as something your favorite panner is panning. And then the Seven of Heart is the highest rated product. So the highest rated product is like when you go on Ulta and under blushes and that is like and then top rated and the highest rated that you have in your collection that is the one you are going to choose. Yeah. So I I have a little twist and I really hope I'm not cheating. <laughs> For the Eight of Spade I chose my Franken blush that I frankened in the summertime. Amanda, Jessica and Dana for Eyeshadow Junkie, I think she's called on Instagram. Th those three have started a Frankly I Don't Give a Pan project pan where they are only going to pan Franklin products, so products they have Franklin. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to go finish off my Franklin blush. It is really low and there aren't that much product left uh, anymore. It is a mixture of my Coralista from uh, Benefit and a little bit of Rogature. I had so little left of my Coralista, so I repressed it with Rogature and I deeply regret that now because that was it it would have been gone by now if I didn't repress it into here. My goal is obviously to finish that. And then we have the Seven of Heart, which was the highest rated product. When I went into the bronzer section on Ulta and took the top rated, the Hula Bronzer was like number two. And I do have the Hula Bronzer, but that is in my Franken Bronzer. So that is why I said I really hope I'm not cheating. Because that Franken Bronzer contains a little bit of the 
a rim of hula and a little bit of an essence blush no uh, essence bronzer and a mannequin bronzer mm -hmm. and it just cracked in the packaging that i repressed it in last year so i just frankened or repressed it into here right now before we start filming so it fills up the entire pan these pans contains 2.8 grams of product I really hope I haven't repressed it too hard in here so it goes rather fast. Um, so hopefully I can finish these two products off this year. So as you can see I am working on a blush, a bronzer, a highlighter, a lipstick and a cream blush. The hardest products that you can ever choose for this kind of project pen but that is what you get from a roulette project and hopefully I can have some of these done. So maybe I'm just going to set a number goal on this one just because I really don't want to pan it. So like 20 times I want to use this. So let's see how quickly I can do that. For the lipstick I really want to finish it but I'm so awful at panning lipsticks. But yes, these two I really want to finish or maybe really hit pan on the bronzer. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a goal on reheating pan on the bronzer. I want to finish off um, the blush because there's so little left. And the cream blush I want to finish half of what it what there's in here. So it like goes down in the middle. So this section over here. I do think that, that are my goals to use my highlighter 20 times and finish half and re pan and stuff like that. I hope that gives me room to shuffle the, my products and Going in new products, basically. I hope you guys are excited for this uh, series that I'm going to start on my channel in collaboration with Emily and a bunch of other ladies. We have filled, right now when I'm filming this, we have filled up our chat group after Emily, she posted her video. I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are going to follow along. Check out Emily and the other ladies and until my next video, please take care. Bye! Thank you.